look at Detroit. You said it before, Greg. Their backs are against the wall. They need a win here tonight. And then two more. Substitution on the court. He's checked in for Detroit. Kelly Oubre comes in for Kyle Kuzma. On the floor for Detroit, the backcourt guards are Cunningham and Ivy. Then there's Kelly Oubre, and it's Richards in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. A pass to Newton, all alone. And that one drops for him. Uh, defense making it pretty easy for Kate Cunningham here. You can't leave someone wide open on this team. Here's Martin, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second, You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. This is his first free throw of the game. Martin, two shots. Oh, take a break, take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Martin. So both teams changing it up here. And he makes both free throws. Now Cunningham. Down low, here's Richards. That's in, coming off the assist from Cunningham. Well, there are a myriad of reasons why Kate Cunningham went first overall in the draft, but his incredible passing is certainly at the top of the list. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, and the foul called on MP. That is his first foul of the game. Fourteen foul. One twenty-two left to play in the first quarter. Cunningham passes to Herter. Here's Richards. The Pistons working the ball around now. Here's Smith, and Smith with the stop. Smith. Now, here's Melodon. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And out of bounds, the Pistons will take it. Pistons ball. And it's Cunningham with the ball for the Pistons. Four-point game. They need to put the big loss on Tuesday in the back of their minds. And that was a game to forget. You'd like to find some teachable moments, but I think they'd like to just turn the page and move forward. Yeah, and quick. Like, like as quick as possible. That was a dismal showing, especially for them at the offensive end. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Cunningham kicks to Herter. To the paint, here's Smith, and the dunk by Smith. You gotta keep the ball moving, and that time, Herter's pass leads to an open look. Outside, Martin. For the three. And that one is off. The Pistons go the other way with it. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Cunningham passes to Richards. Now Oubre. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. That's a two from Martin. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. The team is pumped up. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. It's Charlotte. They lead by four. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. Man, please give a big round of applause. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinal. 
What stands out to you guys from the Hornets in this one? Yeah, in that first period, they looked to push in transition at every opportunity. It yeah, felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. Ball is the point with Book Knight on the wing. Williams is out there with Martin, and it's Montgomery in at the three. So that's who Charlotte starts the second. Week. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Pistons was superb on the floor. He contributed 51 points and got there the usual way. An impressive barrage of three-pointers. A very solid stat line for him in what was a terrific outing. And you know he wants to keep the momentum going, Kevin. Yeah, David, he was in attack mode all night long. GA really propelled them to that win. When he's on, he is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. And continuing to press their advantage, they're not taking their foot off the gas. Master Kuzma takes a three. Hornets with the rebound. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Hornets leading by eight. Here's Martin. Count it. And he's now eight of nine from the floor. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Ivy passes to Kuzma. And here's Ivy. Throws it up high. Newton. He's guarded by Williams. Second shot opportunity. The shot by Ivy. No good. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Williams trying to break free. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got the lead up to 12 now for the Hornets. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. The wide open look here for Kuzma. Kept alive. Two minutes for me. Tries again. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. foul charge to Charlotte. Martin. Second personal foul. First and let's quickly check foul. out the scoring breakdown here for the Hornets. Shooting They're controlling the pace of this game, pushing the ball up court and getting good looks in early offense. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out and transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. First free throw is good for the Pistons. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Duran. Kevin Herter comes in for Kyle Kuzma, and it's Cunningham in for Oubre. He hits both from the strike. 158 left now here in the second. Now here is Mark. He's guarded close. Yep, that one goes in there. Martin's got 23. And so far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. And finished off by Martin. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Back to Cunningham. Here's Newton, and a strong finish with two hands. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Uh, you have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give them some space, 
let him get to work. Inside, Richards, and the powerful one-handed slam. Assisted and and didn't do anything eight. fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board, and I, I don't mean style points. Martin, from outside, drains it from beyond the arc. Martin's got 30. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Passes it to Herter. It's rebounded by Charlotte. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And started hot, and he's only gotten hot. The Hornets yeah. shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. The Pistons making a change here. Smith has checked in. At the line for Charlotte. Martin shooting one. Twenty seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Cunningham against Martin. Back to Cunningham. Launches it. And it's Melodon with the rebound. One second left. No good that time. And so it's Charlotte with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. Their transition game has been in full effect. We come back right after this. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern. He'll make substitution. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. Nick Richards. One shot. At the line, one shot. Here's Jones. Here's the Hornets with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. And Detroit looking at who they've got. We've got Cunningham. Smith is out there with Kevin Herter. Then there's Oubre. And it's Richards in at the center. Cunningham passes to Herter to the inside. And he dunks it down. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Martin against Smith. Right side, Martin. Three-pointer. Detroit with the rebound. Richards got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Smith. And it's slammed in by Smith. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Here's Martin, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. The Hornets have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. At the line, four shots. Martin taking two shots. First one falls for him. Paladon's checked in for the Hornets. And so Martin nails both of them. Detroit's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Oubre passes to Smith. Count it. Good. Smith's got 10 points in the game. That's their third straight make off an assist. 
Martin from outside, and he's good on the three ball. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. And it's Cunningham with the ball for the Detroit Pistons. Oubre, no one around him. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Martin's in the post. Two points, Martin. that one goes. Martin's got 40 points. I mean, he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Richards, that's in, coming off the assist from Cunningham. Cunningham's got his ninth assist in the game now. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Good on the three-point shot. 43 points for Martin. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Oubre can't get it to go. And with him missing literally everything he's put up today, you can see why the score is what it is. MP deciding where to go with it. He gets it up. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Charlotte in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Now the passing for the team becoming contagious, this time involving the big. Substitution on the court at the line. For your Hornets, Theo Molodon. One shot. So the Charlotte Hornets have won the series and eliminate any chance of a comeback with a big time win here in game five. And Greg, it's on to the conference finals for them. And if there was anybody doubting this team heading into round two, this series should have erased any of those doubts. A convincing win for a team whose championship hopes are looking bigger and brighter. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinal. Stay focused on your workout.
you look at Charlotte, it took a major effort for them to advance out of the conference semis. How much of an effect does that have on a team? Well, you want to... Hornets making a switch here. Martin's checked in. Tobias Harris checked in for Cleveland. Setting the floor for the Cavaliers. Tobias Harris out there with Danilo Gallinari. Then it's Darius Garland. Then it's Jared Allen. And it's Mitchell in at the two-guard spot. Jared. And it's Allen who slams it home. Look, the offensive glass is all about effort and energy. And Allen, look, he's got plenty of both. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. From the corner. It's not going to go for him. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Harris against Ball. With the floater. They grab their own miss. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. We have seen Allen look more for his offense over the years, which in turn draws the D's attention. Allen at the line. Two shots. Free throw good from Allen. A pure five. Jared Allen isn't trying to shoot a bunch of threes. He bangs down low. He rebounds, protects the paints. He is a rare breed. Lopez, he's checked in for Charlotte. So both free throws good from Allen. Charlotte has gone one of four from deep. Ball passes to Martin. And the layup is good. Woo! How sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Cleveland has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Two Harris outside. Two minutes. Pass to Allen. Inside. That's good from Gallinari on the assist by Allen. And this has been the book on Gallinari. Play him physical, don't give him space. But you see how he's adjusted to that. From deep, MP. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the middle. A nice shot by Gallinari. Gallinari's got six. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Lopez, nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And using that size to his advantage. I mean, I like it when Lopez establishes himself inside and looks to capitalize. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Defensively, They've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. From deep, MP. Connects from downtown. He's got five. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Harris outside. Back to Garland. Harris outside. Off target from three-point range. The Hornets have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. From deep, MP. And the Hornets, another three. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Mitchell, the pass to Harris. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Hornets have got 8 of 15 shots to go. From outside the arc, Martin misses. And the Cavs shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Now Gallinari. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Tie game and some big points being put on the board as we wrap up the first. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment.
19. Fans, please give a big round of applause. And Charlotte ends up going with a new group. Here's Martin. Ball passes to Martin. Shot on the wing. And the bucket is good. Martin's got 10. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Two minutes remaining. They've got MP. He's out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Ball in at the point. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Okoro, no good. Not his best efficiency this quarter. And look, sometimes that's how it goes. And here's MP from outside. Pure from three-point range. And now it's an 11-point Hornet lead. And the Cavs shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher to the paint. And it's Allen who slams it home. And it's hard to believe that Garland is only getting better at this, developing into a skilled playmaker. From deep, MP sends it home from three-point land. 16 points for him. Wow, <laughs> their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Offensive board. Allen. Pass to Okoro. Takes a three. The offensive rebound. And Gallinari throws it down. Just great energy on the offensive glass. That's exactly how you cut into a lead. Boy, a slam like that is sure to give him a spark. Here's Martin. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. And the Hornets lead by 12. He's officially taken over this first half, making all the right reads. Oh, he hits that one. Eight for 11 and remaining a thorn in the D side. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Pass to Okoro. Outside Mitchell. Garland with the ball. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Assisted. Mitchell's got three assists in the game. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And here's MP from outside. And the Hornets, another three. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Left side, Gallinari. And Gallinari throws it down. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. With one on the clock. And again, it's Charlotte converting. The name of the game isn't scoring, it's scoring efficiency. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Hornets out in front, up by 15. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. Time for us to get back into it here in game one. And here are the Cavaliers now. Down by 15. And on the floor for J.B. Bickerstaff as we get into the second half. Danilo Gallinari out there with Jared Allen. Then it's Donovan Mitchell. Then there's Isaac Okoro. And it's Garland in at the point guard position. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. Personal foul. At the line for your Hornets. Martin shooting one. Cleveland shooting around 41%. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Okoro. Launches it. 
They can't get it to drop. And Charlotte going the other way now. Unloads. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. He's been playing great, unselfish basketball, really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. His court vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense beautifully. To the inside. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That's three buckets in a row off assists. Isaac Okoro at the line for one. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Gallinari against Martin. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Parks checked in for Okoro. At the line for your Hornets. Martin. At the line for one. Throw good, MP. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Outside Hart, fires the three. No good. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Gotta pick it up. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective. Making Coach very happy. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Garland, the pass to Hart. Now Allen. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. What coaches love about Allen is he finds points. You don't have to run a ton of stuff for him. And there it is for him. Six points for him. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Nice spin off the there left rim and in. Garland. Quick release jumper from Garland there, showing how fast he can get rid of it. Martin against Gallinari. From the arc. And the Hornets, another three. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Outside Hart. Let's it go from deep. The Hornets pull it in. Martin outside. Let's the three fly. No good that time. And it's Cleveland the other way. Mitchell with the ball. Guarded now by Williams. Hart. Ball with the rebound. They're losing because he is struggling so bad. And he has not looked comfortable all game. And they double up MP. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Gallinari. Tobias Harris checked in for Cleveland. Substitution on the court. The Hornets shooting with some fire. 66% in this one. Martin right side. Drills it from deep. Martin's got 12 points in just the second half. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. And for the Cavaliers, Darius Garland is out there with Mitchell. Then it's Josh Hart. Then there's Isaac Okoro. And it's Allen in at the five, down low. And for Charlotte, Martin misses. <laughs> that is a disaster. Honestly, I'm embarrassed for him. 
and it's Allen who slams it home. When you're Allen, just about seven feet, dunking comes easy. Pass to Hall. Here's Martin. Over Mitchell. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got 39. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Back to Hart. Down low. Here's Allen. The Hornets pull it in. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And here's MP from outside. And the Hornets, another three. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. For Cleveland, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Okoro, and it's flushed down, a nice jam. Nice pass right there from Garland. Love seeing that selfless attitude. From deep, MP. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Hart. Here's Okoro. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. From deep, MP. Buries it from three. Martin's got 11 points in the quarter. Ooh, he's been the guy tonight. Really impressive performance. Pass to Okoro. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Just an effective shot blocker. Lopez using all of that seven feet, and he does a great job of picking his spots. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Four, he's checked in for Charlotte. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Thompson. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. And it always takes a lot of pressure off a team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.